update. Got the mill out. Cleaned off this because I got all my mill tools in here. Anyway, I'll put all that stuff back. Anyway, mill and slot and cutting, doing stuff. Check it out. So I got this whole mechanism um, functional, but not finished. Uh, I also got these made. So these little brackets are what I slotted out on the mill. Cut that out of a full piece, drilled, milled slots. <clears throat> they fit on here like this. So this allows you to move this way. Uh, and then this is in the center. Tapped and threaded the front plate here, as you can see. Put these little uh, 5 sixteenths. Uh, anyway, so yes, done, good, got it, great. Um, I did clean up a little bit last night. I even vacuumed Malachi, actually vacuumed the floor. I cleaned up a lot of this stuff. But yeah, it's looking more and more like my machine every day. All right, let's keep going. Update. All right, we're running. We got our little <clears throat> 36 volt battery pack there. We got this cut out now. Got our brackets on here. Got our prop on here. And yes, we're actually uh, got our cam on here. So this cam is going up and down. It's hard to tell. But it is going up and down. It's going so slow right now. See it following? Oh, it didn't go all the way down because my spring's still too tensioned. Anyway, it's running. It is moving over at the same time. And, uh, yeah. Last thing on the list is, uh, whoops, figure out how to mount, uh, these things on here and then we're good. Hi, Malachi. Hi, Dad. You got a nice electrical city or whatever the heck you built over here? I didn't know it. <laughs> what do you think about this contraption? I don't know. Like... It's so weird how the the doesn't make any sense with that. The prop. You don't need a prop there for some like why do you need a prop there? Is it to cut it? It's a copy machine. This is my paper that I wanna copy. This is my paper that I'm copying on. So when this goes, this is gonna cut this piece of wood out shaped like this piece. Does that make sense, Malachi? Yeah. Huh? Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? I think you ignored me. <laughs> I really want this. I could probably let you have it, but it is broken half. I don't care. Fine. Update. That's what it looks like. Got this mounted in here. I need a way to hold this. Um, I got this one mounted in here. These will rotate and they also slide inside their bearings at the same time, so you don't have to move this jig, uh, although you can, you can unbolt this and slide it, but these actually can move in and out. So I got bracing here, I got bracing here which is right away, but that's fine. I can put a piece of plexiglass on here now, and or uh, uh, I should say polycarbonate. Um, the belt got real loose, like right here it's real loose, but I realized once it turns a half turn, it's tight again, so this pulley is bad, I really just need to replace it. But I did put a tensioner on here, a little spring tensioner, um, but for now I'm just leaving it hang off, it's fine. So I need to be able to mount this to that rail back there just to keep it from doing this, um, which I knew was going to be a problem, but I had to figure something out. So I actually took these bearings, put bolts through there, and basically wedged them exactly where I wanted them, so that's, I mean, that's actually perfectly fine. Okay, let's keep going. But I'm really tired. Oh my lanta. This place literally is a disaster. However, here's your update. This side is also very much a disaster. Um, I need to clean up. Machine is basically done. Um, I need to reinforce this a little bit for later, but it's fine for a test, I think. I think it'll be alright for a test, but it does need some reinforcement. I tried to put some rubber here, it's probably not going to work well. I'm probably going to get stuff in that bearing, I'm going to have to clean it out. That's just kind of what I've come to the conclusion of, and uh, I'm okay with it. Um, but we're going to go give this thing a shot. I don't know if you guys saw this, I did add a, uh, a spring here. I, I got different hooks. Right now it's on uh, untension mode, so it'll stay high. But uh, I hook it down there and it'll rest its weight on here. Alright, let's bring this thing outside. 
hook up the electric to it. And I'm going to hook it up to a Variac with a uh, full bridge red full bridge rectifier and send it. Update Variac DC converter, just a full bridge rev rectifier into our motor. No cutter, no cutter wheel. We just want to see how it runs without moving. We just want to see it run at full speed or whatever maximum looks like. So turn it on. See which way it goes. Oh, there we go. Rubber is working, sort of. Belts are staying on, sort of. There's 120 volts. All right, let's put this on and see this run. Let's see it move. I want to see how fast it moves. Oh, it's pretty slow, which is good. Alright, well, I guess we just go for it. I'll bring this back. We'll take it easy. I'm gonna cut low first. We can cut the other later. I'm gonna cut. Actually, I'll just start with over here. Why not? I'm gonna put this on the lowest spring tension. I need a way to keep the grinder on. I'm gonna leave that off until we're ready. Put the cutter on. Now, this is not a wood disc, but I think it'll cut wood. It just may not cut well, and so this might not work at all. Okay, this is rotating that way, that's rotating that way, or should be. We'll find out once I get it turned on. I'm going to zip tie it and I'll plug it in. Okay, got the switch off. So now this is dead. So now I'm going to plug the grinder in. And as soon as you turn that switch on, the grinder's gonna start, okay? And this is fine. Okay, go ahead. Turn it on, it'll turn the disc on. Mommy, what up? Um, loudness is what that is. So and, now, and a mess. Now I'm gonna break all those tabs off, and we'll set it on the other. We'll run it full speed. It'll be a lot faster, quieter, so it won't be grinding the side. 
Look at that profile in it. That looks weird with the rim. All right, I'm gonna break all these off. And then I'm gonna run it again. Ooh, it's weak. Right there. So really we need to make like a roughing pass and a finishing pass with a blade that's like properly for this. And this one's, I mean it works, but it's trying to go too fast. And it can't cut it like a regular blade, gotta grind it, which is bad. So it starts vibrating mm -hmm. because it got real weak. See how it's flexing? Mm -hmm. That's really too far away. I could make that a lot smaller. This bolt like almost hits this. It's so it's so close. So now what we'll do is um, Elijah go. Oh uh, well, it's fine. I got the grinder unplugged, but I'm gonna reset this. Okay, now, now we'll run it one more time, full speed, full speed, and it'll cut the other section. It won't be perfect, but it's just a test. Oh, there Fireworks. Is. I got on the video. Um. Uh. Okay, Elijah. Yeah. Go ahead, turn it on. Well, Elijah, what's your thoughts? I'll say it works well. It works? I, I do need the right cutter and I need to slow down the travel, which both of those things I knew were probably going to be a thing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a... That's... That's it. That's pretty cool. Camera's overheating. Got my son right there. It's been a long adventure to get to this point. It started Friday. It's currently Monday evening. Okay. Last pass, I lowered the blade a little bit. After a lot of really hard work, it works. Actually, it works really well. I gotta get the right blade, and slow down the speed, and uh, I'm noticing this props being chewed up a little bit by this plastic, so I need to put a, like a rubber O-ring around it or something. But uh, that's pretty cool. Everything held up. My little rubber thing actually worked pretty well. And that's the end of that. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. It needs a little work for little things. Slow down, different cut, but uh, ultimately it does work, which is super cool. Okay, well, here we are. The end of this adventure. However, it's really just started. This was just to get the thing as a proof of concept. Now I actually do a lot more work with a, a few electronics programming, making my own app, and actually I learned a lot along the way, which I'm going to show you, and I think you'll like it. So hang around, there's more to this story. Cheers. Let me know what you think in the comments.